Hey everyone, Jasmine Williams here, Alabama Live, joined by our thrift style living and thrifting expert, LaCheryl Silly. LaCheryl, you just came back from a trip. Tell us about it. Oh yes, it was an amazing trip to New York City. I went there for Fashion Week and for thrifting. And yeah, and I, well, I also got snowed in at, at the end of it and had to come home a day later. But it was an amazing place. And the first thing, of course, I wanted to find when I got there was food. So we found this amazing buffet that was not far from the hotel. The food was, I mean, great. And the prices were phenomenal. So that was my thrifted food for the uh, week. We ate there several times uh, to begin in with. And, and then we went to uh, went to a play, Book of Mormon. Uh, went, to, went to four thrifting stores, two in New York City, two in Brooklyn. They were absolutely amazing. I think my favorite was probably Goodwill in Brooklyn, where we found amazing stuff. Um, and then on Sunday, we got an opportunity to go to the Brooklyn Museum of Art, where Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats had their art collection uh, there, you know, available for view, and some of the instruments that she had used. It was just amazing. Now, I'll let you ask me some questions. <laughs> I had to get all that out. <laughs> Talk about how you prep for thrifting, specifically when you're out of state, out of your comfort zone? Well, one thing you can, I always tell people, one thing, sometimes the prices are a little different. For example, the prices there were a little bit more expensive than I, what I was used to in the South. Um, but nevertheless, I did, I mean, I came back with some amazing stuff. Uh, and you still can find some really great buys too, uh, as well. But that that's one thing that you, you, know, you think about the pricing may be a little, maybe elevated a little bit, but you still can find great prices in that. Uh, one thing I liked about it was that the there was a, a variety of merchandise from all kinds of designers and stuff that I was able to find. And you also want to be comfortable, so I made sure I had comfortable shoes. So it wasn't it wasn't fashion for me that <laughs> doing the trip. It was comfort for me doing the trip. So you got to be really comfortable. It was about finding fashion for you during the trip. It was about finding fashion. Yeah, I couldn't really do my fashion as much because I had to be comfortable. Uh -huh. Did, do you look for different brands when you go to different states? Well, what happened to me, and I actually had someone who was a friend of mine who was with me who was filming, and she talked about me, how I just, I forgot about the filming and just went straight to the showcase. So normally I, I'm, I just go straight to what grabs me. And then I look for different brands and a lot of some of the brands I'm not familiar with. And so I pull out my iPhone and I check out, you know, make sure it's a good price or whatever. But I just go towards whatever just grabs me in the store. And then after I do that part, then I go and look at the other stuff and then I check out the brands. And you found an artist who takes thrifted clothes and recreates them, repurposes them. Yes, that was at the Brooklyn Museum of Art pop-up. And we didn't we didn't even realize they were going to have a pop-up. So I was on one part. And then my friend, she was walking around. She's like, LaCheryl, you got to see this. So she's like, you're going to love this. And I absolutely did. It's a guy who thrifts a lot of clothing. And then he does graffiti artists on it. And it's just amazing. It's one of a kind. He does it on trench coats. He does it on sweatshirts. As you see, I was wearing it. He does it on T-shirts. It was just simply amazing. And he actually uh, took a picture of us with, with some pieces of his. He does it on men's jackets too. And it's on his web, on his Instagram, which we thought was really fun to have us on his Instagram. What I love those about, amazing pieces on. What I love about the story about your travels too is people think of New York and they think it's pricey. It's expensive to travel in general, but it's pricey to go to New York. But you managed to take this New York trip and find ways to save and find unique pieces for cheap. I sure did. Really, for so far as when you're trying to book tickets, Tuesdays are usually the best days to book tickets. For some reason, the airlines lower the prices then. They do, and that's that's what happened to us. We actually had round trip for $317. Um, and that was me flying out of uh, Montgomery the first time I went to New York. And then when I just got back from New York, of course, I drove to Huntsville to fly with my friend, but it was the same in the same price range. So Tuesdays are a great time. And the further out you book it, the better you are. You can find great buys on the hotels as well. Check out if somebody's got friends and families on, you know, on hotel accounts. You can do that sort of thing. Like I say, eating on a budget, I mean, was was amazing. We were able to, to go where the locals go. We didn't do much of the touristy type food. We were like, we asked the concierge at the hotel. 
where do the locals eat? Because we know they're not eating that expensive food all the time. And so that's one way too. You can always ask for information and you can do your research online before you go. Well, Cheryl, as always, how can people keep up with your travels, your thrifting and your outfits? Well, I tell you one thing that I've got going on, we've got a thrifting tour in April, April 27th. And it's going to be with me. It's going to be on the bus here in Montgomery area all day long. It's going to be fun. That's one great way. And the tickets are available at www.thriftstyleliving.com. I'm looking forward to that tour and meeting a lot of people in person and helping them put their outfits together. All right. Well, Cheryl Silly, as always, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you.